Pablo Escobar. Hmm, everyone knows him. A maximum of people have heard about El Chapo too. But have you ever seen a woman boss in drug cartel? Look at this. The wife of imprisoned Mexican drug kingpin Joaquin El Chapo Guzman was sentenced to three years in prison on Tuesday by a US judge. They're even scarier than the male drug lords. Scarier and more dangerous, the female bosses of cartels are the scariest things a human can see. Emma Coronel Espuro, Mrs. El Chapo. On June 10, Emma Coronel Espuro, a former beauty queen, admitted in federal court in Washington, D.C. to assisting her infamous drug trafficking husband, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, in running his cartel empire, the Sinaloa Cartel. The 31-year-old also acknowledged helping Guzman, who is currently incarcerated for life in Colorado, escape from a Mexican high security facility in 2015. When she was 17 years old, the California native met her husband at a party her drug trafficking father, who is of Mexican descent, hosted. A year later, in the town of Canelas in northwest Mexico, she was named Miss Coffee and Guava. Many have speculated that she won the title as a result of El Chapo's influence because the couple announced their engagement before the pageant. El Chapo referred to her as his little queen since she showed up at her coronation wearing a crown covered in diamonds. With 100 of his hitmen on either side of him, El Chapo proposed to the beauty queen at the event. On July 3, 2007, her 18th birthday, they were wed. El Chapo was 50 years old when the ceremony took place. Jessica Ozigera, La Negra. The 34-year-old daughter of Nesimo Ozigera Cervantes, the head of a rival cartel to El Chapo's, Jessica Ozigera was given a two and a half year prison term the day after Colonel Espuro appeared in court. According to a press release from the Department of Justice, she was found guilty of assisting her father in money laundering through a number of businesses, including sushi bars, resorts and tequila companies. The Jalisco New Generation Cartel is run by Ozigera's father, a gang leader known by the alias El Mencho in the underworld. One of the bloodiest drug trafficking organizations in Mexico, its members are notorious for beheading adversaries and dissolving their corpses in acid. El Mencho is one of the most wanted traffickers by the Drug Enforcement Administration and is in charge of 5,000 hitmen. A $10 million reward is offered for information that results in his capture. Ozagera, who holds dual citizenship with Mexico and the United States, was detained when she drove over the border in 2017. Almonte claims that because of her very light sentence of two and a half years, she undoubtedly divulged information about her wanted father, El Mencho. La Negra, as Ozagera is known, has two young children and is said to be desperate to be reunited with them. Although she has initially insisted she was not involved in her father's drug business, she expressed remorse in a letter to the judge. Clara Elana Laboran, La Senora. Authorities detained Clara Elana Laboran in 2016, a former Sonora State Beauty Queen who had wed El Chapo's old Sinaloa gang collaborator, Hector Beltrain Leva. Laboran's husband treated her like a trophy wife, earning her the nickname La Siora, or The Misses. In 2008, after his brother and business partner Alfredo was detained by Mexican authorities, Beltrain Leva split from El Chapo and established his own cartel. Beltrain Leva waged a brutal struggle against the Sinaloa cartel because he believed El Chapo had turned on his brother to the authorities. Her husband's Beltran Labor Cartel hired Labor in to run its money laundering division. Her hands and feet were bound, she was blindfolded and she was photographed in captivity with automatic rifles pointed at her in 2010 by a competing organisation. The resort city became Mexico's murder capital because of her merciless campaign of power. As the Beltran Labor Cartel battled the independent cartel of Acapulco, tourists were forced to step over dead littered with bullet wounds and get trapped in the crossfire. Sandra Avila Beltran, Queen of the Pacific. 
The most renowned of the drug emirates is Sandra Villa Beltran, who was so revered by the cartels that she earned the title Queen of the Pacific and inspired the band Los Tigres del Norte to write a well-known Narco Corrado song about her in 2004. She served as a model for the Mexican television drama La Reina del Sur, also known as Queen of the South. Villa Beltran obtained her nickname after commandeering a fleet of tuna boats that went from the port of Manzanillo to California in 2001, each carrying 10 tons of cocaine. Some of the goods were taken by the authorities and Villa Beltran disappeared. Due largely to her amorous involvement with Colombian drug lord Juan the Tiger Diego Espinosa, 60-year-old Villa Beltran served as a vital conduit between Mexican gangs and Colombian cocaine traffickers. Villa Beltran is the third-generation drug dealer from Baja, California, Mexico. He has relationships with various capos and is related to important cartel lords like Rafael Caro Quintero of the Guadalajara cartel. After paying a $5 million ransom when her teenage son was abducted by rival drug dealers in 2002, she was discovered by authorities. Villa Bertrand, a modest homemaker who owns more than 200 houses in Guadalajara, was apprehended five years later after police inquired as to where this woman obtained the money. She was accused of assisting her Colombian lover in money laundering and drug sales through her electric beach chain of tanning facilities. 30 federal Mexican officers surrounded an expensive Mexico City cafe where she was eating when she was arrested there in the fall of 2007. She persuaded them to let her freshen up her makeup before they led her away so she would appear decent in the mugshot. In the arrest video, she could be seen flicking back her hair and smiling for the camera. Villa Beltran struggled to avoid the spotlight even after she pled guilty and eventually told US officials that she helped her Colombian boyfriend distribute drugs. It's great to be considered a queen, she remarked to the judge during one of her initial sessions in Mexico. She coordinated Botox treatments and placed an order for Thai food from a chic restaurant in Mexico City to be sent to the Santa Marta Acatitla Women's Prison. Villa Beltran complained to the Human Rights Commission after the authorities tightened down on her takeout lunches. According to Mexican press reports, she was unsuccessful in her appeal and two senior jail guards were let go. She was released in 2015 after serving time in both Mexican and American jails. Make sure to watch our other video where we mention how the daughters of drug lords like El Chapo are dominating the drug scenery. Until then, Goodbye.